wannabe players, welcome to the channel. As today we go over Resident Evil. <laughs> I was gonna say Resistance. That's wrong. This is Dead by Daylight with Resident Evil in it. And the person they brought over to the game, if you can't tell by the title of the video, you've already seen the anniversary or this monster's back already. It is no other than Nemi who will be joining us. I was hoping it to be William Birkin, but this will also do. Now, with his, his power, his stats, and his more, we'll go over it. So stick around, find out for that. His stats are extremely simple. He is a 32 meter terror radius killer. He's a tall killer, and he has 115% movement speed. All the exact same stats as Doctor, the Hunter, uh, the Trapper, Billy, all, all the same shenanigans, you know? Now, his power, however, is complicatedly easy. There's a lot to it, but it's simple. Let's just go over here. This power is called the T-Virus. It allows him to do a tentacle strike by holding the power button and then doing the attack button to unleash that tentacle attack. The tentacle attack has a little extra range outside of his basic attack, so if you're hugging a pilot or window, he can hit you with it. Now, once he hits a uh, survivor with it, if they are um, not contaminated, well, they become contaminated. A new status effect that solely just powers up Nemesis' ability. If you are contaminated when he hits you with the tentacle, you are then injured one state. Now, to cure yourself of the contamination and no longer power up his abilities, then you would need to find a map with a limited supply of vaccines. Using the vaccine will then cure you of the contamination, however, will give Nemesis a killer instinct of your location at the time of using it. In fact, so just be careful when using those. Now, the second mutation ability of his tentacles allows him to break pallets and walls, much like Billy's chainsaw. And the third and final mutation of his ability increases the range of his tentacle, greatly being able to shorten chases if used properly during loops. Now, the other weirdly cool ability of Nemesis is that he has the first killer to bring in AIs. He will spawn special enemies called zombies that will roam the map. Two zombies will roam the area and when they find a survivor, will slowly walk towards them and try to take a bite out of crime. If they hit the survivor, they then become contaminated and if they're already contaminated, well, you guessed it, they are injured one state of health. Now. The nemesis can use his tentacle strike to destroy them and then gain a boost to his mutation meter. That way he can power up his ability that way if the zombies are just in the way. That's pretty much his ability. Like I said, it looks like a wall of text, but it's fairly simple. We'll get in a game, maybe two, depending on the queue times, and show you what this looks like. Now, his perks here are Lethal Pursuer. And uh, uh, these are all we be at Verity 3, as you can see. At the start of the trial, all survivors' auras are revealed to him for 7 seconds, which is pretty useful, and I think that's going to be best used on someone like Billy. I, I think that'll actually be like really good on people like Billy, Nurse, Spirit. Hysteria. Whenever you put a healthy survivor into the injured state with a basic attack, all injured survivors then suffer from the oblivious status for 30 seconds. Hysteria can only be triggered for 60 seconds, once every 60 seconds, which I think of his three perks, this is my least favorite, solely because to get a lot of good bang for your buck of it, it, it 30 seconds isn't very long, and also people just have to not heal, which med kits are a thing, people heal all the time. I'm just not entirely sure how you feel about this. Eruption. After kicking the generator, its aura is highlighted yellow. And then once you put a survivor into the dying state with a basic attack, every gen that you kick and, and is highlighted in yellow then explodes and uh, and progress, begins progressing at 6%. If a survivor is working on that exploding generator, it still explodes. The survivor then will scream and will be incapacitated for 14 seconds. This ability only triggers once every 90 seconds. Now, the if you aren't familiar with the incapacitated status, think about when Victor's on your back. You aren't able to do gens, heal, use items, exit the game, that kind of thing. Uh, I don't see how them not leaving the game is going to work, but you get what I mean. That's uh, pretty interesting. And that's pretty much Nemi. I'm not going to go over all of his add-ons. They're pretty simple. They affect zombie raids and things like that. They don't affect the numbers. I wish more than two could enter the map at a time. But uh, that's this probably will be a further discussion later when I think we'd like to change the limit. Anyhow, let's jump into a game and then uh, let's see what this looks like. All right, gas. 
Haven, me, Gas Heaven. I, it's Auto Haven, Gas Heaven, but not Resident Evil, Raccoon, Fire Department, Fire Department, Police Department. The one I really want. Look at all these people just cluttered together. Yeah, there's, a, there's a dude there. There's one here. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, don't touch that. Drop it. That was not the play, though. Boom! God, that animation's so good. Where is he going? Hmm. He just ran this way. He just hauled ass. My jerky. Oh, I thought he was going to drop that. Oh, my God. My boy. Oh, that's not powered up. I was going to try and break it. I forgot. That's only stage how. Get out of here. And now... Oh. Boom. And that made him oblivious. I didn't even mean to do that. That was just awesome. Yeah. Hmm. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Now let's try and power up our building. Wait, what the hell? Oh, over there. Zombie just standing there. But who that? Hey, 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 oh, buddy. Nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, my, my guy has. Oh, I thought he was going to double back. <laughs> my dude. My guy is super good. I'm going to try it again. Look, this is all about learning, right? What? My guy. My guy. You're a beast. Wait, you touched it, though. Oh. Well, that was rude, my good sir. Oh, man. That is a long delay. After taking out your tentacle, that you have to put it away. That's a long wait. Okay. You can't hit him at that angle? That's interesting. Now I'm just curious as to what can I do with this? Wait. On the lock. There we go. Thank you. Okay, cool. Boom. Oh, someone's over here? Derpy zombie saw someone. Hey, what's up, boy? That didn't reach. Interesting. Got him. Yes. Now I'm at stage two and I can break pallets. I don't know if this is one of these chases. Unless you hide behind the pallet. Interesting. Or I can just, you know. Oh, I love the moving while doing it. That's so good. Alright, I'm trying too hard to use my power. I'm trying really hard to use this power. Hello, good sir. Got him. Oh, somebody cured himself. Actually, hold up. There we go. Alright, so that zombie right there is on to someone. Who is that zombie chasing? You're useless. Oh, that zombie's looking at someone too. What's up? Get him, zombie. He did not. This is not the play. Got him. Man, I wish there was a fast way to get to, like, stage three of my power. Boom. 
Oh, I don't have any gins kicked. I can't use that ability. Damn it. All right, but well, that's fine. Let's start kicking gins. Right? So, like, the more gens we kick... The more we could use that... Oh, hit him! Priori prioritize survivors. I'm okay with that. I kind of wish he did both, but uh, that's fine, too. That might be too busted, you know what I mean? Oh, there we go. I wanted to blow that gin up. There we go. I feel like there's a build around this somewhere. I feel like there's a build somewhere where we can really utilize this. Hey, what's up? How did I miss that? Apex aim. I need this to get to level three. So close. I must start taking out some zombies. What the? Oh, I didn't reach for some reason? Bro, you're like right here and I can worry you. And you know, I will. I will straight up worry that I missed. Wow, that hit? Bro, that was awesome. Let's get a Mori, baby. Oh, man. Yeet. God, he makes sure you smear it out like a cigarette butt. What the hell was that? Oh, wait. I'm at tier three? Why? Did my zombie hit someone? I think my zombie hit somebody. Or do I? I think I just keep increasing as long as they're infected. It just keeps increasing. Which is why you want to cleanse yourself. But now that I'm at tier three, what's the purpose of cleansing? I guess just that someone's over there on that gen. Maybe, maybe just to like, you know, be quiet. Cause like coughing survivors are really loud. Can I hit it from here? I, I can't. Okay. Curious about that range. How, how close do I have to be to hit him? Very curious. Oh, well, that was... I didn't mean to press that button. What's up, player? Got him. That range, baby. I feel like tier three should injure you automatically. Like, what are you gaining? Uh, okay. Like, cool. I got stuck on a rock. Okay. Zombie, get him. Zombie, get up! Ooh. Uh, whatever. I, I messed that up. Here's this one. Man. Yes, watch him, zombie. Stand over him. I feel like he should have more zombies. Not even on front. There's just too many times these zombies are just standing around doing nothing. They are informative, though. They do give you a good idea on, you know, where everyone is. Like, if you're close to them and they see you, you it gives you some good information. However, I am not a big fan of how slow they are in a game where, where the survivors have superior mobility. Just absolutely fast mobility. I need to kick more gen so I can get the most out of my perk. 
So let's kick this gin here. Did I start with it? They were definitely in here. Oh, somebody's nearby. Hey, what's up? Alright, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you think is going to, boom, blow those gins up. Oh, yes. Another one? Another one. Get him. Bam. Snuff out the light. Thank you. Got the TTV. Screw him. Um, where did I hook that other guy? Who's on the other side of there? They healed over here. I see them. Hi. Bop. Come. I'll continue to use this power when it's convenient for me. Got him. Well, this is pretty good. It's not going too, too bad. I mean, they are down to one gen. And, uh, yeah. I, 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 I like him so far. Oh, here's Hatch. I like him so far. I feel like this is a lot of buildup. Like, his whole thing is about building up the stonks. You know what I mean? Then once the stonks are built up, everyone cleanses themselves. And at that point, then your power becomes a good a way to down the survivors. But in the beginning, it's bad because you got to hit them and then infect them and then they're going to break out of the infection. Hey, where you going, my boy? Where you going? Where you going? He's going to go for that and jump out of there. So, like, this isn't too, too terrible. I just wish I could have showed you the other games I've done earlier. They were fun. Um, because, you know, uh, well, one of them, one, my wife was kind enough to help me pre-record everything I needed. This is not the play. This is not the play. Ding! I'll see if I can pull that angle off. I really wanted to see if I could pull that off. Could not. Turn me one the other side. What's up? Ah, what? You walked through it! I mean, this is... Nice, my dude! Dang! I want to see if I can pop him from there. I'm more just playing with him at this point. I just really need to know the specs of... Stop it. Um, let's actually bring you as close as I can to where the hatch is. Right? Let's go as close as we can to the hatch. Like right here. And then get that good, good Mori. And skadoosh. Alright, so he's dead. That guy. I saw it. Yep, he's gone. <laughs> he was he saw that hatchet. He was waiting for it. He was like, no, no, no. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hang around for that. Eh, wide range of bits, mostly low ranks, but that's fine. I sh for some reason, I'm low rank, but that's whatever. That's good. Well, here we are. Now that we have everything 
uh played out we've got the play so far we haven't used any add-ons I, I i plan on playing through him some more trying to figure out what builds we can use on him i'm actually going to try and see if i can get all the stuff on him um but i really want to get back to the original game as fast as possible so we're going to run as many parts as possible and tomorrow i will release the video on the survivors if you're interested anyhow thanks for sticking around what what did you like about nemesis what changes do you think would happen i have a few ideas already that i think would like to change like more zombies uh like one zombie per survivor i think would be a good number and you know make them a bit more i mean if you're gonna keep the two zombies either make them more useful or increase the make one zombie per survivor and keep them as they are now as they are now they're pretty useless i mean yeah they'll get a hit once twice maybe but like it's not frequently enough and it's the ptb people don't know any better so imagine what happens when he gets out and people are already used to him by then the zombies will just be nothing four zombies per uh one po one zombie per survivor i think would be best um his mori is pretty awesome but uh, I, I think I want to make a discussion video. We'll see how it goes from there. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please beat the crap out the like button. If you want to see more like this, hit that subscribe and uh, comment below. Get me on the algorithm and let's get ourselves up there. For 2022, y'all, we are going to be on that next year's anniversary. Help me out. I love you guys. Have a good night. Ciao.